What if I told you that everything you chase, success, pleasure, productivity, is governed by a single chemical, a molecule so powerful, it decides whether you feel alive or apathetic, whether you get out of bed or stay stuck in a loop of fatigue, procrastination, and quiet despair. This molecule is not a mystery drug. It's already inside you right now. It's called dopamine. But dopamine isn't about pleasure. That's the lie most people believe. It's not the reward. It's the drive, the anticipation, the craving that pushes you toward action. Every scroll, every bite, every goal, every addiction, all rooted in one common source, your brain's ability to chase dopamine. And here's the part. No one tells you. Every time you experience a dopamine high, your baseline drops, not temporarily, not slightly. If you're not careful, it drops below where it started and it stays there. That's why after a weekend binge, a dopamine fueled victory, or even a few hours of mindless scrolling, you feel flat, empty, disconnected, like your mind has been hollowed out. And so what do you do? You chase another high. This is the loop. This is the trap. But to escape it, you need to understand how dopamine really works. Inside your brain, Dopamine functions through two main systems. The first is called the mesolimbic pathway, your brain's reward circuit. It makes you want things, not enjoy them, want them. Anticipation lives here. The second is the nigrostriatal pathway, the circuit for movement and action. Without dopamine here, even getting up feels impossible. Literally true in Parkinson's disease. So dopamine isn't just about mood, it's about motion. It translates thought into pursuit idea into momentum. Now here's the core mechanism. Your brain always has a baseline level of dopamine, a background hum, but it also creates peaks, bursts of dopamine when something exciting or novel happens, a reward, a text, a like, a win. The problem is every peak is followed by a dip. And if you keep chasing peak after peak, your baseline starts to erode. This is why the things you used to love feel dull now. Why even resting doesn't feel restful. Why more stimulation creates less satisfaction. We're living in an age of overfed, under-inspired brains. Think about it. You wake up and check your phone. Dopamine spike. You drink coffee with sugar. Spike. You scroll through a highlight reel of people's lives. Spike. You work, but multitask. Emails, tabs, music. Spike, spike, spike. And all the while, your baseline is dropping like a leaky faucet until eventually even small joys feel invisible. Here's the truth. It's not that you're lazy. It's that your dopamine is exhausted. And most people try to fix this by chasing more, more coffee, more noise, more intensity. But the way out is the opposite. To reset your brain, you must stop flooding it. Because once you reduce stimulation, your baseline begins to recover slowly, naturally, powerfully. This is why some people feel incredible after a dopamine detox or social media fast, not because they did nothing, but because they stopped doing too much. But here's the secret most don't know. You don't have to avoid all pleasure. You just have to be intentional about how and when you use it. Let's break it down. Rule one, stop stacking dopamine. Don't mix high reward stimuli. Don't scroll while eating. Don't work while gaming music and energy drinks. Each layer robs the next of its power. Rule two, allow boredom. It's not something to escape. It's the doorway back to clarity. When dopamine resets, you regain the ability to enjoy simple things. Rule three, earn your peaks. The best dopamine comes from effort, not consumption. Working hard, then resting. Training, then recovering. These create long-lasting neurochemical elevation not empty spikes. Rule four, expect the dip. After something amazing, prepare for the fall. Don't fear it, observe it. Let your system rebalance without grabbing another hit. Rule five, rewire your reward. Stop finding satisfaction in the effort itself. Tell yourself, this pain means I'm adapting. This strain means I'm growing. This discipline is the win. Because once you start associating effort with reward, you become unstoppable. You stop needing constant hits. You start craving progress, not distractions. 
And that's when everything changes. Your focus returns. Your energy rises. Your mood stabilizes. Life feels exciting again, not because it got easier, but because your brain got stronger. So what now? You don't need to disappear into a cave. You don't need to cut off joy. But you do need to ask, am I controlling my dopamine or is it controlling me? Am I pursuing meaning or chasing stimulation? Am I willing to be uncomfortable now, to feel alive again later? Because the truth is simple. Dopamine can enslave you or empower you. Use it well and it becomes the fuel of mastery, connection and momentum. Use it blindly and it becomes a cage disguised as pleasure. So today, make a choice, not for another high, but for a higher standard. Your mind is adaptable, your baseline is rebuildable, and your future 